Princess Peach was originally created to be the stereotypical damsel in distress. As you guys already know, many of the Mario games involve her watching over her kingdom of mushrooms, but being kidnapped by Bowser and his gang. While she's often saved by the Mario Brothers, she has been kicking butt as early as Super Mario Bros. 2, often with a cute but stubborn attitude and always sporting her own unique abilities. On the side, she enjoys a lot of outdoor sports, including tennis, golf, and soccer. And it would only make sense how active she is since she tends to carry around a dress that's practically made out of bricks. Peach has two killer moves, and some Peach mains have based their entire ground game around them. Dash Attack and Down Smash. These two moves have great range and hitboxes, allowing liberal use of them, but they both also act as combo starters, setting up for Peach's other attacks. She also retains her float ability from previous Mario games, which grants her a recovery that transcends horizontal bounds, but also activates her unique mechanic, Float Canceling, which removes all of the landing lag that every other character has when using aerial attacks. Not only that, but her aerials are all very difficult to challenge head-on, making her the one character where more power does not equal more lag. Aside from floating, her up B recovery is also difficult to challenge and is even more of a boost to her horizontal recovery if she didn't need it already. And she does have her own flavor of projectiles called turnips. Peach has an entire army of these hidden away, as not all turnips are made the same, and she can even pull out random items, such as beam swords or bombs, even with items turned off. In some ways, Peach is considered one of the easy characters to use when first starting out. Float canceling means she doesn't have to worry too much about timing her L cancels, and crouch cancel down smashes are easy to implement and can do a ton of damage, both as a defense mechanism and as shield pressure. Her recovery also allows her time to get back to the stage and is more difficult to gimp outright, and all of her moves have great range and priority. At a high level, however, when opponents have much better control over their characters, it can be difficult to react to aggressive attacks or catch those who like to play a hit-and-run style. Because of this, there's a general spectrum of Peach styles that one can use. At one end of the spectrum, we have a more Armada-like Peach, where he takes full advantage of her insane combo game. Patience is the key here, as just one mistake from an opponent often ends in a stock loss. Also, in most matchups, Peach can be quite safe in her shield at high percents, as grabs usually aren't enough to finish her off. However, at the other end of the spectrum, we have someone like MACD, who abuses her high priority moves by pushing his opponents into the corner and forcing them to have to move around the huge hitboxes he throws out. The last notable thing about Peach is to make sure you don't overlook her attack speed. While her movement may not be the greatest, Float Canceling does allow her to throw out a great number of moves per second, and although she can be played very simply, she also has a very high technical ceiling, and many top players take full advantage of it. Peach is solidly a high tier character, and was used extensively by the number one ranked player for a while. However, despite her ability to win tournaments, on paper she actually loses quite a few matchups. Fox, Falco, Marth, Falcon, and Jigglypuff are generally accepted to have at least a slight advantage against Peach. And again, top players will always argue on these points, but she has a pretty even record against Sheiks and Samuses. Where Peach especially shines, however, is her ridiculously one-sided matchup against the ever-prevalent Ice Climbers. She splits them up and gets rid of Nana very effectively, while staying out of grab range the entire time. She also fares well against Pikachu, Yoshi, and many of the low-tier characters. Some niche picks against Peach include Link, Young Link, and Ganondorf, who can abuse projectiles or long-range attacks and take advantage of her slow movement to keep her at bay. Peach's moves hit hard, and she has a lot of good ones. If the opponent has especially good DI, however, it is possible to survive her KO moves for a long time. Peach covers the least amount of ground out of all the top tier characters. She runs slowly and takes her time reaching people above her. However, the lack of lag on her aerials and the speed at which her attacks come out can somewhat make up for this. Despite her high priority, she often gets outranged by characters such as Sheik and Falcon. A 2.5 second float, a practically unchallengeable up B, her wall bomb technique, and a great air dodge allow her to get back to the stage easily, especially horizontally. 
Peach is very light and does die easily from attacks. Peach's offense can be powerful, as she forces opponents to respect her high priority moves, can approach near lagless aerials at any time due to her float, and has the ability to follow up behind her turnips. As powerful as her attacks are, however, they are easier to react to than the other fast characters. And if you prevent her from pulling turnips or force her to chase you down, her approaches can become somewhat linear. Peach is a wall of hitboxes that requires evasiveness to get through rather than brute force. If you do find your way past it, her crouch cancel down smash is so powerful that many moves become unviable at low percents. This means that rushing her down successfully requires extreme precision, while any slight miscalculation in spacing or timing can cost you an entire stock. Peach is your main if you want a character with potent moves that can be abused without the technical barrier that melee characters usually have. You'd rather force your opponents to move around your attacks rather than have to weave in and out of ranges yourself. Her unique mechanics and the option of a high technical ceiling appeal to you. You want a character that is overpowering in teams. You hate ice climbers. Or if you feel like lording over a castle of mushrooms, but still want that special princess flair.